Our phones are definitely advanced. Check out this photo that I took. You can see a couple stars, but you really need a good camera and good skill to get a picture like this. I actually met the man who took this photo. His name is Royce Bear. He lives here in my backyard of Utah and he's a very well-known nighttime sky photographer. He has half a million followers on Instagram. You may have seen some of his work and I wanted to shadow him for a morning and see how he does what he does. How long have you been doing this? Uh, about 10 years, this type of photography, astral landscape is what it's called. Uh, we call it nightscape for short. You know, the starry night sky and the landscape foreground. So we call them landscapes. The technical term is, is astral landscape. So you've got astronomy, the starry yeah. night sky, and a landscape foreground. Do you think we should change the temp color temperature just a little warmer, or do you like it? Really? I've been doing uh, uh, magazine photography for 30 years, and uh, the last 10 years, uh, I have kind of a philosophy to reinvent myself every five years, try to do something a little bit more unique and different, and uh, about, so I'm due, I'm overdue for a change. <laughs> so about 10 years ago, I started doing uh, astral landscape photography. About uh, six, seven years ago, I started doing what is called low-level landscape lighting. So I'm feathering the light, the center of it, off to the right. So we use a very low level of light mm -hmm. to light the foreground features. I got to shadow a world-famous night sky photographer. His name is Royce Bear and I can't wait to show you some of his tips and tricks for your own nighttime sky photography. So I'm still editing this video. There's a lot to edit, like I was there for a long time and I was very tired, um, just so you know. So I'm really going the extra mile for these videos, but I really can't wait to share it with you. This is just a little preview to get you excited. You won't want to miss it, so make sure to subscribe to Ellie in Space and I'll see you very soon.